Welcome back. Today we have tip number three. We're going to talk about cleaning out your email and a few things that often get missed. This includes emptying the deleted items folder, deleting your spam, and clearing out your drafts. So in addition to the normal cleaning and deleting the emails that you don't need, we want to point out a couple of additional items. All right, let's go over to my email. And one of the first things we want to take a look at is the deleted items folder. That is an area where everything that gets deleted goes and you want to clear that out every so often. So you can click on it to see what's in there. If there's anything that you want to keep, go ahead and keep it. Um, but if not, just right click on the deleted items folder and just choose empty folder. Are you sure? I'm going to click OK. That'll clear it all out in one shot. And one little quick tip, if you ever did delete something and then you cleared out this folder but you still needed that email back, you can right click and there is a recover deleted items folder. You have 30 days to recover anything that was deleted. All right, let's go back to the inbox. One of the next things we want to take a look at is the junk email folder. Now this may be empty, which is great because that means our district spam filter is doing its job, but every so often things do squeak by and you may see some things in the junk email. Go ahead and take a look in here. Make sure there's nothing that you need because um, every so often an email can get stuck in here. Uh, so you do want to take a peek at it every once in a while. If there is anything in there or a bunch of things and you don't need them, just right click and you can um, empty the whole folder. Now speaking of junk email, we get ours filtered through the West Islip spam filter. So one quick way to take a look at all of those emails in one shot is to go up to the top and do a search. And if you just put in WIUSSD underscore spam uh, and press enter, that will pull up any spam emails that you have received. Uh, I only have two because I have been clearing mine out, but you may have a lot. Uh, so obviously the first thing to do is take a look at each uh, subject, see if it's anything that you need. If so, then click deliver. Um, I'll take a look at my next one. If there's anything that I want here, I will hit deliver. Um, and then once you're done, you can just go ahead and delete all of these spam notification emails. You can select them all at once by holding down the shift key and clicking uh, to select. Um, and then you can just delete them all in one shot. Another often overlooked area is the drafts folder. If you have anything in drafts, and I have quite a few things in here, uh, you'll want to take a look. These are generally emails that you started, but you never actually finished. Uh, maybe you got distracted and you closed out and then you sent the email later. Um, but the drafts are things that never actually got sent. So what you'll want to do is kind of take a look through here. As you look through each one, if you don't need it, you can just click on the X take that email out. This happens a lot when you go to start an email and then you don't have time to finish it, so you just close out. So you have an empty email sitting here. So now we can just go ahead and click the X again and just go through and delete any other emails that you don't need. So those are some often overlooked areas. You know, in addition, you also want to look at your main inbox, delete what you don't need, um, you know, make folders, put things in folders if needed, and we'll We'll talk about that in another video, um, but I would just share one quick tip that you can do if you're looking to delete um, a lot of email quickly is to go up to the top because by default it's sorted by date. And if you click on that drop down, you can sort by who it's from. And that can be generally pretty helpful because then as you scroll down, you might look at a group of emails and I know I don't want these um, or I don't need these emails anymore um, that are from the ALA so I can use my shift key, click the bottom one in the list. I don't need these anymore. These are all past. And then I can just delete as a group. So you can always use that. But I think this is a nice view because you get to see everything uh, by who it's sent and you can take care of them all in one shot. When you're finished, I always like to put the sort back to date just so that it's back to what we're used to. All right, so again, those were just a couple of tips. Uh, and one last thing to point out, if we did more deleting, uh, you'll want to empty your deleted items folder one more time because we might have just put some more things in it. I know it can be a big task working on our email, um, but these are some things not to be forgotten. So, so thanks for tuning in and happy decluttering.